Known to being the original creator behind both the commercially successful manga slash anime series, I Show 21 and Dr. Stone, my new series, Who Is Series Anime Industry Edition, will be focusing on the adaptive and innovative mind of Ri Ichiro Inagaki Sensei, the brilliant mind who calls himself a piece of trash and got by a manga competition by spilling ink all over his manga panels. I am truly excited to do a deep dive into Inagaki Sensei's life, so let's get right to it. Inagaki Sensei was born on June 20th, 1976, a time of political activism in Japan, but also a renewed interest among magazine publishers to focus on youth culture. Thus, it was only natural that Inagaki Sensei fell in love with manga at an early age while reading Fujiko Fujio's Manga Michi. In 1994, he competed at the third manga Koshien, a one-panel manga competition between 300 high school teams where they were given 5 hours and a half to make their own original story. Inagaki Sensei recounted at this competition while most contestants were drawing an artistic take on the nearby ocean current called the Kushio, he thought it would be funny if he spilled a bunch of black ink on paper as if he messed up on purpose. However, this prank backfired because people actually really liked his entry and labeled it as creative. <laughs> I'm sorry but you can tell the judges at this competition were not professional mangakas. How are you going to look at a manga panel with ink spilled all over it and call it art? This kind of reminds me when the Whitney Museum curator was explaining to the audience for over 5 minutes why a white painting is considered as fine art. Inagaki Sensei finally debuted as a professional manga writer in October 2001 with the publisher Big Comic Spirit. He finally got his big break after winning the Weekly Shonen Jump Story King Award for a storyboard of I Show 21. I Show 21 was centered around American football and following the MC Seina Kobayakawa, a weak, unassertive boy whose only standout abilities was his running speed and agility. He decides to join the Diamond Devil Bats football team and try to take over the Japanese high school football scene. And I'm not gonna lie, I would love to see how Inagaki Sensei pitched this story to jump. It probably went something like this. Guys, I have the most brilliant idea for our next manga hit. Okay, let, let's hear it. Let's make a shonen series about football. Um, okay. I mean, I feel like there's been a lot of manga written about football, but the World Cup is around the corner. No, not that football. I mean American football. Oh, you mean soccer. Yeah, I'm not really sure what really went down at this pitch meeting, but I would love to know what went down. With Aishio 21, Inagaki Sensei teamed up with illustrator Yusuke Murata, who by the way is the current manga illustrator for One Punch Man. Despite the haters and American football interests in Japan being practically non existent, Aishio 21 was an instant hit. And a quick fun fact Jump cancels any manga that plummets in popularity. Because of this business model, Inagaki Sensei delayed the introduction of football until chapter 4 of his series. He stated in a 2014 Otaku USA magazine interview that if the popularity of his manga dropped, he was going to change the story into a common writer style mask hero story. What? And I'm glad that didn't ultimately happen. I Show 21 went on to be published in the Weekly Shonen Jump for 333 chapters until June 2009. The manga also got picked up by TV Tokyo, Nas, and Gallup and was animated into a 145 episode series. The manga ultimately sold over 20 million copies and helped raise American football popularity in Japan. After finishing I Show 21, Inagaki Sensei locked away all books, DVDs, and reference materials and couldn't stand seeing any football related material or his own manga for a year and a half. After a short break from writing manga, Inagaki Sensei worked on multiple short term projects such as Kiba Kiba, Shinpai Kato no Face, and Alpha Centauri Zoo, which by the way did not get any love on my anime list. Finally, on March 6, 2017, he started to serialize Dr. Stone and Weekly Shonen Jump with Boichi. Shout out to my fellow Korean countrymen. 
Dr. Stone was inspired by Inagaki Sensei's desire to stray away from shonen protagonists with crazy powers or abilities. Through the series, Inagaki Sensei also wanted to shed light on a group of people who didn't get enough limelight, and in this case, it was scientists and researchers. Inagaki's risk seemed to pay off because Dr. Stone started to top Shonen Jump's list and got picked up by TBS for an anime adaptation for summer 2019 season. I think after studying Inagaki Sensei's work and how he navigates this space, what really separates him from other manga creators is the quality of research that goes into each project. You know, starting with iShow 21, even though a lot of the football moves in this series was complete bogus, the football framework of the story was based off hours of high school football, college football, Japanese pro football, and American pro football film. Even in Dr. Stone, for this one scene where Sanku was riding a hot air balloon, Inagaki Sensei actually went out to ride on an actual hot air balloon for research. Now that's some dedication. The next it factor Inagaki Sensei has is how efficient he is in pushing out high quality content. Most manga creators have the urge to do everything from writing, character designing, character naming, drawing roughs, line work, etc, etc. Because of this, there is a lot of cases of mangaka burnout, such as the case of the creator of Hunter x Hunter, Tokashi Sensei, who just ultimately end up writing 7 manga chapters every other year due to health problems. Inugaki Sensei saw this dark side of the industry, so he completely dropped drawing and really tried to maximize his skill set of manga writing. After doing that, he paired it with the best illustrators the market could provide, such as Murata Sensei with iShow 21 and Boichi Sensei with Dr. Stone. And because both the manga writer and the illustrator maxed out their skill set, when they came together, it was like the goddamn Avengers. Go off killing a whole alien race and get paid millions. To really reiterate my point of how efficient the system is, Inuaki Sensei mentioned in an interview that he only met Boichi a couple of times in person. This would be the workflow. He would fax a detailed storyboard to Boichi, and a couple days later, Boichi Sensei would send back the completed manga panels. And then Inagaki Sensei would fill in the dialogue. And then boom, that's how he got 120 manga chapters of good quality shit. The last if factor Inagaki Sensei has is that he gives no fucks. While most mangakas debut with shonen series where the main MC power ups every time, they say, IN THE NAME OF FRIENDSHIP! My boy, Inagaki Sensei, goes off debuting about American football, especially at Shonen Jump of all places. And while you got the Shonen main MC yelling every other line, or sexually harassing the main girl MC for shits and giggles, Inagaki Sensei grabs Shonen Jump by the balls once again and makes a series about an intellectual male MC talking about science. I don't know how Inagaki Sensei gets around because he got some big balls. All in all, it's a combination of thorough research, being paired with the pinnacle of manga illustrators, and writing a refreshing series that sway away from manga story cliches that Inagaki Sensei developed the mildest touch when it came to writing a compelling story. I hope you learned something new from this video about Inagaki's philosophy to his creative process. And really for the current Dr. Stone fans, that you will love the series even more by putting a face on the creator behind that amazing series. Please support Inagaki Sensei by checking out the latest Dr. Stone manga chapters on Manga Plus and the latest Dr. Stone anime episodes on Crunchyroll. And also, tell me down below who else you want me to cover from the anime industry. See you guys in the next video, peace out.